Well, Iranian affairs analyst Syed Mustafa Khoshashem joins us now from Tehran. Thanks so much uh, for speaking to us. So both sides have said they don't want conflict, but the United States continues to build this arsenal in the Gulf, and Iran continues to say it is ready to defend itself. Where do you see this going? Hello, and thanks for having me. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, Donald Trump is very much hopeful that he could uh, implement uh, phase two of the engagement policy that started under President Obama, that's, uh, you know, use of, uh, that entails use of uh, sanctions and posing credible military threat in order to change the calculus in Tehran and to force Tehran to the negotiating table to give up and to give more concessions. That's what they hope. And we are now at the climax of uh, this approach towards Tehran. Uh, you know, under Obama, this eventually ended up in the nuclear deal. Iran now knows the game. It also knows that military threats are not going to, uh, you know, be interpreted into action uh, under this uh, strategy. And uh, the status of the public opinion, economic situation of the U.S. and uh, the global, you know, energy conditions and uh, the security conditions in the Middle East, uh, neither uh, would allow uh, a U.S. incursion or invasion of Iran. So this seems to be uh, very much a phase two of the same engagement uh, strategy. But uh, mm. uh, it is widely believed that the U.S. is just going for intimidating Tehran. Tehran has uh, already stayed unmoved and undeterred while it's very much prepared to reciprocate any hostile action. Okay. You know, under such circumstances, uh, as uh, tensions escalate, willingly or unwillingly, accidents might, you know, spiral easily into full-scale war. Right. I mean, as you were kind of insinuating that Iran sees these as maybe empty threats of a sort because they don't believe that would any of this talk would be interpreted or rather, yeah, into action, if I'm quoting you correctly. Um, is Iran that confident? Because nobody really or a lot of people didn't really think the United States would invade Iraq, for example, especially with so much international uh, momentum against it. And yet it did anyway. So really, is Iran that confident? Iran is confident, but at the same time, it's uh, keeping its level of military preparedness at the highest levels. But if you just take a look at the market and the public opinion in Tehran, they also seem to be unmoved by this U.S. military threat. It's interesting that uh, they are showing that uh, uh, to be going the same way that they went, uh, uh, you know, under George W. Bush uh, uh, and in 2003. Uh, if you remember, uh, they, you know, made some allegations about WMDs in Iraq, and now they, they, they pretend at least to be up to something against Iran, actually. Uh, just the other day, one of the senior arms control officials in the U.S. administration resigned, and uh, they also made some revelations uh, uh, that they are preparing 120,000 troops right. to go uh, uh, to, to be deployed in the Persian Gulf. All this uh, seems to be, you know, uh, a part of the same engagement strategy okay. to, uh, you know, deter, uh, to deter Tehran and to intimidate Tehran. Personally, right. I need to say that I'm not afraid of the next nine, ten months uh, uh, before uh, Donald Trump uh, is discouraged, actually, from this engagement strategy. Uh, I'm not uh, worried about the war like many others, okay. but I'm worried about the time when... Uh, Donald Trump, at around a year from now, gets discouraged from his uh, strategy, then he would either have to drop his present courts of actions and intimidation, or he would have to radicalize his moves and initiate some kind of conflict. Okay. We need to wait and see if he would keep Bolton until then or not. Right. We do have to wait and see. But in the meantime, let me ask you very quickly, would Iran be willing to budge on the nuclear deal? I mean, the Trump administration says lifting sanctions is dependent on renegotiation of that deal. So would it be that worth that effort? Well, Iran is not going to renegotiate any deal. You know, talks are meant to, you know, end up in a deal, and we already have a deal in place. The United States should learn how to deal with Iran. The language of threats and, you know, uh, looking uh, down 
on Iran would never work. It has never worked that way. The only time that they could sit to the negotiating table was the time when they attended the talks on equal footing and through respect. That means, of course, uh, that they need to get back to the JCPOA and comply with their undertakings. Okay. Otherwise, there won't be any deal. This is not just a political stance by Tehran, but even the public opinion believes so. Okay. Said Mustafa Koshashim, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Tehran.